Yo, hello, we're back with the Steel Salamence. I'll be perfectly honest, because I had to switch cartridges, uh, this Iron Hands is not fully optimal, but it'll still be enough anyways because it is a 5-star raid. The key concept here, you just go Belly Drum, Drain Punch. You really don't need to do anything complicated for the 5-star mints. It is significantly easier with uh, pre-prepped bonds. And of course, since it is also on Pokemon Violet, you are easily able to get an Iron Hands. Other good Pokemon like Chiyu would actually be pretty good here as it gives us Bedef Drop and all this Oko. You'll be able to Oko the Salamence with Nasty Plot plus Overheat. But this strat works as well as you're just able to quick Belly Drum and then you just quick Drain Punch and then this works out. This works out. Yep. Yeah, the simple strat here, this belly drum, quick drain punch. You don't have to do anything complicated with old iron hands. You do not have to do anything complicated. Of course, if you have a partner that uses Screech here, this could be more efficient. And you could use like CC turn one and KO it that way. But of course, EQ is not going to do nearly enough because, well, do this way too bulky. Drain punch goes off. Get the healing. And you basically win the raid from there. <laughs> of course, if this Iron Hands was more optimal, I think it could have potentially been a one shot with like CC, but we'll do it this way too. But yeah, the Mence goes for Dragon Dance. But that's all but fine. We have too much sustain at this point. The Dragon Breath actually goes in the guard. Yeah, it's going for EQs, which is mildly annoying, but like, since again, it's a 5-star raid, it's not really able to actually break anything. And we're as a result, we're able to just really just pop off and do all the damage in the world to it. Get some more Terra Charge. And since it didn't go for the defense drop, I actually will just go for a CC. This will be a little bit faster with this. It's a tad. And then, yep, we get the... KO on the shield. And now we just need one more CC to get the Salamence. Alright. There it is. But yeah, the 5 star raids are simply a lot easier. In general. We have Pokemon Violet. We got the Salamence raid down. We'll go ahead and catch it, show you guys the stats, you can get a good look at the rewards too. And we'll also give you a build on how you can actually go ahead and play the new Steel-type Salamence. Yeah, there it is. There it is. But yeah, you shouldn't have to build anything too complicated for these. Again, this being 5 stars, it's not really hard at all. And there we go. There it is. We got the solo on the vents. I will say the Salamence is definitely the better Pokemon to actually go about using. Because Steel actually has like ridiculously good synergy with Salamence and you don't lose like too much off of it but yeah we got the hate sea nature the natures are completely random the ivies are random nothing is predetermined on this unfortunately but yeah here's the move set for this salamence and you do get intimidate you do not get uh moxie which is pretty relevant too but yeah to get right to it we'll also show you the our build for salamence and then you steel type salamence right away but yeah here it is we also have the Tyranitar video up already for that one. But yeah, the basic for this build is essentially you just go Terra type Steel, you run away Clear Amulet to prevent our stat drops. You can uh, ability patch into Moxie if you want for like this more overall damage, but Intimidate's also fine. And basically, just go Dragon Claw, Dual Wing Beat, Iron Head, Dragon Dance, so you get the setup. And since you're setting up with Dragon Dance, they can't block. They can't block you with Intimidates. 
thanks to your clear amulet, making your dragon ends all the more terrifying. And then you can go like Terra Steel plus like Iron Head, and you have great types energy. So if you're against any fairy types, you just get the Iron Head, you just get them back. If you're against a fighting type, you can still Terra Steel, and you just hit them with Dual Wing Beat instead. So you cover a lot of matchups that way. And then for the EV spread, we just have 252 Attack Adamant. This uh, Tyranit the Salamence actually outspeeds Dragapult at plus one speed. So once you get a Dragon Dance up, you'll be able to outspeed a Pokemon as fast as Dragapult, which is base 142. So that's really about as fast as any Pokemon can really go in this metagame. As you can see, this Dragapult 142. Of course, you don't outspeed Electrode, but no one uses Electrode anyway, so you'll be fine. And yeah, you just take advantage of the Dragon Dance coverage, Intimidate. Moxie is also really good this for the sweeping potential. If you do have an ability patch, you can go ahead and go that. And yeah, that's all for today's video. If you like this kind of content, you want to see more terror raid content in the future. And when we do like seven star raids, we'll give you more guides on that. We already have a guide on like how to 1v1 the seven star Charizard for when that returns. We'll have that linked in the description as well. Because that's going to be back this weekend, I believe. Or next weekend, one of the two. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and later.